Hi guys, it's me Carrie. Take two. Oh, <laughs> my cat Shamrock has decided to hop on the table and make a special guest appearance. Come here, Sammy. So everybody, you will go. Hi, Samo. Hi, Bear Bear. <laughs> he never does that. That's really funny. Um, anyway, that was Shamrock. But um, this is my second attempt at shooting this video, so I hope this one works, because that was really cute that he did that. Um, my phone started to do that wacky, out of sync, like old kung fu movie, mouth moving, not corresponding with the words thing. Um, my husband said that's like an Android YouTube issue. I don't know. Well, it couldn't be a YouTube issue, because I'm just recording. It's a, I don't know, I think it's an Android thing, but whatever. I digress. I always digress. What I wanted to show you guys today, um, this is part um, an Amazon purchase and part something I already, sorry this is a really flat on angle, um, part something I already had that I got for Christmas, but I wanted to share with you guys my new artistic obsession. My dear friend Paula gave me this book for Christmas. It's Paint by Sticker Masterpieces, and if you are not familiar with Paint by Sticker, it is so much fun. If you enjoy coloring and you're looking for a nice, relaxing craft to do, this will definitely fit the bill. What you get is all these different pages. This will be the Mona Lisa eventually, believe it or not. The pages are all covered in specifically lettered and numbered shapes, right? Okay. Then you go to the back of the book and you find, there's a whole section that says stickers. You find the sticker sheet that corresponds with that particular piece of art and there's pictures in the corner to show you so you make sure you get the right one. Now all of these stickers, there's the Mona Lisa up there showing you how she'll look finished. All of these stickers go in the corresponding places. So instead of like color by number, you literally pick out the stickers and place them where their designated spots are. And in the end, you end up with the most gorgeous works of art. I've done, <coughs> excuse me, more than half the book already. Um, this was the most recent one I did last. Actually, I've done eight of 12. So yeah, more than half. The most recent one I did was Girl with a Pearl Earring. And look at how cool this looks when it's complete. I mean, is that stunning? And it's all just based on placing stickers. I mean, obviously there's some white spaces. It's not perfect. The stickers aren't like precision cut. And obviously I'm not going to be able to place everything exactly right. But how gorgeous is that? And the sticker sheets and the pages are all perforated. So you could literally just easily tear this out and frame it. And how gorgeous is that? What a great gift that would be for someone that you actually made them. So um, I've been looking like a mad woman. My friends got me this book at a museum. I think she said the Met in New York City. So um, I, of course, Googled to try to find um, more books like that. And I didn't really see anything except for Amazon. And apparently, I guess this is a new thing from this company. Um, Workman, that's on the, the spine there, I guess is the publishing company. Um, they had several that were kids' versions, but they looked much more simplistic. But I found this one on Amazon that I just got in the mail. And this is another one with, um, it's uh, another masterpieces, well, 12 sticker masterpieces. And um, I didn't see all the designs in it, but apparently one of them will be this really pretty one with sunflowers. But this book is completely brand new, just arrived moments ago. So I'm super stoked for it. And there are going to be two or three more released um, later in the year, but they're not currently available. You can only pre-order them on Amazon. One of them is actually, um, I don't remember if it was rock icons or pop icons, but it's a collection of uh, famous portraits of different uh, musicians. And I remember there being, um, I, the only one I saw was a preview of David Bowie, but it was like a rebel, rebel, like awesome, that era shot. So it's going to be fantastic. I think Katy Perry is in there. I'm trying to remember, I think Elvis. Crap, I can't remember the other artists, but I'm assuming like these, it's probably going to be 12 different pieces. So of course they're on my Amazon wish list. I can't wait till they come out. Um, and there's another one that's like um, vintage travel posters, but I love doing these. And I'm, I think I paid with tax, um, but I get, I'm, I'm on Amazon Prime, so I get free shipping. I think it was like $11.89 or something for the book. But I mean, the list price on the back, I think there is a list price on the back. Yeah, $14.95, so I mean, you do save a little bit by buying them from Amazon, but I am so, so, so stoked that I have another book now. So I just wanted to share with you guys this new hobby of mine. Um, 
if you're into, like I said, if you're into arts and crafts and you're not necessarily able to do like needlework, like knitting or crocheting or, um, you know, cross stitch, that sort of stuff, all three of which I want to learn eventually. Crochet I tried the other day and I literally was only able to make bracelets, but I'm still proud of myself because that's something. Uh, knitting, I wanted to just throw the kit across the room, even though it was made for ages seven and up, the kit I bought at the thrift store, it's in a previous video. Yeah, I couldn't even get like the the the, the needles like threaded or whatever you would call it. I, yeah, that knitting, not for me. Crochet, maybe, you know, we'll see. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try harder with that. But um, like I said, I can at least make bracelets. I don't have any on right now, unfortunately, but um, yeah. But, um, but this is a craft that really anybody can do. It's literally, like I said, it engages the left and right side of your brain because it's creative and artistic, but it's also very precise. You have to pay attention to the letters and the numbers and place everything with really, you know, place it really carefully. Obviously, the nicer you place it, the prettier your piece will come out. And um, obviously, you don't want to leave gaps in between because that takes away from the look. But you could see in the piece I did, you know, there were some gaps and it still, I thought, looked really cool. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys about that. Um, check on Amazon, like I said, if you want to. Um, I don't know. I would assume that eventually maybe the craft stores like Michael's and Joanne's and Hobby Lobby, those sorts of places, will get these books. They may even be available now at like Barnes & Noble or something. But um, the first place that came up for me was Amazon, and I actually had a gift card from Christmas. So, you know, yay for me. You know, anytime I don't have to spend my own money is awesome. So anyway, I th thought that I would just share that with you guys. Um a new craft thing you may want to try. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and you'd like to join the Butterflies Landing family. And I will be back in like literally two seconds with another video now that I have a nice, quiet, peaceful house. Mom's resting upstairs. Husband's at work. I can just chill and shoot some videos. So I'm going to try to get some stuff done today. But anyway, I will be back really soon with more stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.